Our next member for public input is uh, Lisa Prager. Welcome, Lisa. As you're coming up, uh, usual story as with everyone else, five minutes, the bell goes after four. Over to you, Lisa. Thank you very much. It's uh, very nice to be here again. Uh, I too am a resident of uh, Greylin. I own a business in Westmere. I grew up in uh, St Mary's Bay and I've lived my entire life in Ponsonby Greylin, Westmere. I have to take um, a, a bit of a different uh, position from Bike Auckland who are funded or were funded into their position by Auckland Transport. I think the bias that we have heard here today is very concerning. Let's first of all talk about safety. Life is not safe. We take a risk every day when we step into our cars, when we get into an airplane, when we eat our cereal. The idea that you can mitigate all safety in all situations is not realistic. Now, I understand the concerns of children. I live right next to a school. But I also know that by spending millions and millions of dollars on cycleways, which the New Zealand police have said, we do not support children under 12 years old riding bikes on their own. There are too many critical decisions they need to make along the way. This brings me to the grand gold-plated plan, which I know intimately looking at Garnet Road, because in 2017, I had Auckland Transport bowl up and go, hello, we're moving your bus stop 20 feet down the road, and we're going to take away all your parking, we're going to destroy your business, all in the name of safety. And we said, hold it, let's analyse this. So when I first uh, had a conversation with um, the contractors, I said, can you show me your plans? They laughed. He said, no, we're just going to make it up as we go along. And that is indeed how we come to have the Grey Lynn debacle, where shopkeepers and retail that had operated successfully for over 100 years suddenly found themselves in a state of uh, discombobulation. Suddenly, 17 car parks were removed. And you all go, well, well, well we don't need car parks. We hate cars. People should cycle. Well, that is not the reality. We are in the middle of the greatest global transition this world will ever see. And we need collectively to work together to share the existing roads, to care about cyclists and pedestrians, to understand that buses provide these services, but to suddenly spend millions and millions of dollars that this city does not have on this concept is ridiculous. And that is why over 2,000 people in 2017 signed our petition going, we don't think this is the way to go. Now, I love the way everyone goes, our community all wants this. That's not true. There is a diverse number of opinions. And the fact that Bike Auckland has managed to mobilise such a spectacular public and media campaign is only supported by the fact that Auckland Transport funds them. We're not funded. We operate on the smell of an oily rag, which is, g'day, could you bother to write an email today? I want this organisation, who's in charge of Auckland Transport, to look at all the mistakes, to look at all of the debacles across our city, to listen. I mean, Desley, you know, just go for a bike ride down um, the, the, the waterfront. It's, it's more dangerous now. And in fact, having just crisscrossed back and forth in the hospital to, to meet an, uh, an ailing mother, I too feel more unsafe as a car driver on K Road facing traffic without any wiggle room. All of our broad, wide, easy, safe um, roads have been destroyed. Now, I want to be clear here. I'm a cyclist, but I ride an e-bike. Why? So that I can use the quietest, safest roads and make my choices as I move. So I think it's time we threw out all of this idea of, of spending billions and billions and billions and billions on gold-plated cycleways and took a long, hard look at how can we share the assets we currently owe, own and how can we 
engage in an education process. Because you know what's happened? We now have the cycle wars, where people hate cyclists. Now, I don't, because I'm a cyclist. But I've certainly been tarred with it. And unfortunately, Auckland Transport has tried to shut me down by sending me a letter every three months going, we're not going to engage with you because you're rude and you're outspoken and we don't like what you have to say. So the bottom line here is, people, we need to look from a whole range of perspectives. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lisa. Any quick questions or clarification from Lisa? Okay. Thanks very much Thanks for very your much. presentation, Lisa. Thank you.